<laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy, Black Gritty. First of all, it's one o'clock in the morning. Today is my birthday, October 17th, and I couldn't have asked for a greater gift or weekend. I'm an adult. I got everything I need. I got everything I want. I don't want for nothing, but I can tell you right now, it's Philly or nothing right now because we are rolling, all right? Uh, the union out here securing a spot, you know, five for five now. It used to be four for now, it's five for five. The Sixers are primed and ready to get us out the second round, okay? The Flyers are undefeated. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the least of the undefeated. The Phillies are in the NLCS. <laughs> and the Eagles are 6-0 and and just beat the Cowboys. Oh, I don't know. Outside of a championship, is there a greater weekend or weekend of sports fandom? Is there what? I'm not a historian. I, I don't remember everything about sports. I got a good memory, but not for sports and everything. When was the, when was there a better weekend of just Philadelphia home power where the whole nation has to get down on their knees and me at Copa Philadelphia and say how great the fans are. We're selling out. We're so loud. We setting off Apple watches, Apple phones, decimal levels everywhere. And my volume is high. I know. Turn me down in your headphones or on your phone. I'm trying not to cuss because I know a lot of people watch what I be talking about at work. But I can tell you what. Dallas sucks. The Braves sucks. The Cardinals suck. The other Cardinals suck. I, the, the Mets suck. Like, oh, and, and, the, and the, the Phillies are the getting to go against the Padres. I didn't really care which team it was because when they go out to California, they just seem to play well, four and three against the Dodgers and uh, the Padres. But the Padres got it coming, and that's us. We are going to be there. It is a great day in Alonzo morning if you are a Philadelphia sports fan. There's nothing like... Philadelphia when everything is going as planned. I saw Jeffrey Lurie in a Phillies hat. He looked so strange and out of place. He actually looked a little hip, and it kind of bothered me. It kind of freaked me out because I'm used to seeing him being the billionaire frumpy dump dude in the box. He had that Phillies hat on. He was looking a little too smooth for me. I didn't like it, but he was there. Joel's been showing up. He went to the Phillies game. He's at the Eagles game. You don't know, blink football, but a different kind of football. You know what I'm saying? And it's just <laughs> swole Batman. Looked like my child standing next to me when A.J. Brown gave and beat a hug on the sidelines. It was ridiculous. Oh, and Meek Mill coming out there performing, getting the team hype before a kickoff. Hold on, wait a minute. Like, I, Meek Mill got a job performing that song for the rest of his life in Philadelphia. Uh, the crowd has been electric. There's more red at the Eagles game that I've seen in a long time. And they deserve to have representation. I've been in the drugs of being a Phillies fan and going out there. And all we had was chanting the Eagles chant. And now to get to turn the tables a little bit and show that love on a national stage on Sunday night football against blooper rush. That's what I'm calling him. You know, my man threw three picks. Uh, he, he threw a pick against a one arm man out there coming back out for injury, still putting in work. It wasn't a perfect game. Lane Johnson's MVP. I'm just rambling about stuff. I, I'll, I'll do another show with Jason, and we'll just talk about all the things. Maybe we'll actually do a show with stats. Stuff. I'm just talking about how I feel right now. Lane Johnson is, is should be the front runner for MVP. I know people call about Jalen Hurst is in the running, and now you can go check on FanDuel. I mean, you go check FanDuel again. Lane went down. We had a problem. Confidence, play calling, couldn't run the ball, had to get in a rhythm, but they figured out a way to do it, and <laughs> It was just great. I, again, have to ask you, when's the last time you felt this good about Philadelphia sports? Like, as a whole unit, we are kicking ass and taking names. And, again, to see the stars at the other stars' games, to see the ownership representing other ownership, the brotherly love is in full effect. The kids are. Oh, so many kids were at the Phillies game just rallying those towels and being so loud, mocking the Braves in the bathrooms, on the sidelines, behind the dugout. I, again, the whole national stage having to give props. Garrett, former uh, uh, head coach for the Giants and the Cowboys, Picked the Eagles to win and said, fly, Eagles, fly on national television when the whole crew on Sunday night picked the Eagles to win. We've been talking about it all year long. Eagles, the most 
complete team. Simsy said it. I think Dallas has the best defense. Look for Philadelphia to run the Who ball you got, coach? and run the ball at Michael Parsons. I never thought I'd say this in my life, but fly Eagles fly. Oh! Eagle. <laughs> Who? It feels good. It feels good. Oh, and again. Shout out to Libra season. Libra, all, all the best people are Libras. No offense to everybody else, but Libra's got it going on, especially sports. Uh, Bryce Harper's birthday the other day. Dawkins' birthday the other day. Ike Reed's birthday yesterday. Black Gritty's birthday today. I mean, what more can you want? Obviously, Libra's out here in these streets getting things done, and I am one of those Libras. Uh, <laughs> again, I just... I, I don't I don't know what to do like I don't I'm Ricky Bobby I don't know what to do with my hands like I'm we're, we're winning too much it feels so good the Phillies uh, Reese came up big a couple times he he had a couple of um uh, missed haps on defense and you know we again as Philadelphia fans we're knowledgeable fans. We know things. Now, some fans, you hear them calling to radio stations like myself, and some days people just talk crazy. But in general, we know what we're talking about. We understand the game. And if you suck, we boo you. If you're good, we cheer you. If you have a lapse of judgment and say something ridiculous, <clears throat> boom, we, we, we back you up. And once you get that, you get us and you get love. You get unconditional sports love from us just for trying i i'm so happy for reese you know in my mind he, he should be gone but at least he's getting some kind of redemption in a in a playoff atmosphere so many guys had never been to the playoffs never had a chance to experience it and once they're in they're kicking in the door i also love to feast on other people's sadness so i was in the braves uh, 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 tweets and stuff like that and fans they were complaining about the game and the format of the game and I'm like you use this same format to win a championship last year with your punk ass Scooby McDoos shut the funk up and go on about your day and take this L brave suck um, <laughs> Cowboys I, I, got, I had like five or six uh, cowboy friends and family you know in my box the last three weeks when every time Cooper Rush got a win. Cooper Rush is 5-0. Cooper Eagles 5-0. Cooper Rush 5-0. Cooper Rush 4-0. I was like, so he won. Uh, Cooper Rush is now 5-1. and one. Thank you, Philadelphia Eagles. I haven't heard one thing from any of the Cowboys fans who was talking crap to me all week about Blooper Rush and how they were going to get it done with him and it didn't matter. We're going to lose with him at the helm. And how much good is going to be when Dak comes back? Okay. Well, Dak lost to the Bucks, and the Bucks just lost to the – Who? Who did the Bucks lose to? Tom Brady need to get back in comfort with his wife, or he just needs to retire because it's over for him. And I have – just to put a note out there, I haven't bet on a parlay uh, since week two. The NFL is out of control. Again, we'll, I'm going to do a real show tomorrow. And put it, and we'll talk about the league. But today, if you had a parlay, it didn't go your way. <laughs> okay, put that on a rap album, stamp it, print it, put it out. Everybody lost money this weekend. Uh, uh, so many games out of control. But one thing is true: the sun will shine in the morning. The Philadelphia Eagles are undefeated. So are the Flyers. The Phillies are going to the NLCS against Padres, and the Union are going to bring home another championship. I. Don't care about any other team in America. The, the president's wife was at the Eagles game. The Philadelphia Eagles are America's team. Matter of fact, that should be a new stable in law. Whoever the president is in the United States, Republican and or Democrat, whatever team they back up is America's team. And right now, America's team is Philadelphia. We're 6-0. Dallas sucks. Braves suck. Everybody sucks. Ah, it feels so good. I just... I just, I just, I've had such a good weekend sports wise. You know, when you do stuff for your brother, everything just feels better, tastes better. People think about their Bobby drinks. I had a couple drinks that I apologize. I talk fast. But I'm telling you, this is one of the greatest weekends, weeks in Philadelphia sports history. And I'm going to funk and enjoy it. I'm trying to cuss because YouTube be getting mad at me when I cuss too much and then they, they check down my views. But I tell you one thing I'm in these streets. I love you. I love Philadelphia. Thank you so much, Phillies. Thank you so much, Eagles. Thank you, Flyers. You know, I got to hold on to them while I can because we don't know how the season's going to be. Joe Allen B, get this into your veins and get us out of the second round. Phillies, keep doing what you're doing out here in the streets, drinking with the public. Oh, I love it. I love Philadelphia, and I 
probably love you too right now. We out!